So, Christmas is over and uh, the goose is cooked. Sooner or later, you're going to have to take the decorations off the tree. And if you're anything like me, you're going to want to pack away baubles as efficiently as possible. So I'm here to show you how to do it. We're going to look at the most dense packing I can create from spheres. They're not exactly spheres, but they're close enough. They've got a little, little bit here. And that requires ordering them in some way. And the specific kind of order I'm thinking about is called a base-centered cubic pattern. And this is something like you might see in a beehive. It looks sort of like a hexagonal grid of these spheres. And then I can create another layer that sits above that by balancing my baubles on top of one another. So there's sort of little gaps created, and they can sit in those little gaps. There's a way of characterizing how efficient a packing is, and it's called the packing fraction. So the packing fraction of one of these crystalline packings, the face-centered cubic packings, is 74%, which means that 74% of the space is taken up by baubles, and 26% is taken up by the remaining air. This isn't really going to work if I try and put it inside this box. And I'm a bit lazy, so what we're going to do is, instead of having this face-centered cubic packing and trying to lay everything in very nice and neatly, we're just going to chuck them in. This has a packing fraction of 64%, so only 10% lower than the crystal packing fraction. And this is called a random close packing. So it's random because these baubles aren't ordered in any way, and it's close because they're, they're close together. What happens if I do it with uh, smaller baubles? Actually, the volume fraction for these smaller baubles is exactly the same as the volume fraction for these larger baubles. That's because you can imagine just taking this box and shrinking it down. So the baubles are decreasing in volume, so they take up less volume. But then the space around the baubles is also shrinking. So the relative ratio between the volume taken up by the baubles and the volume taken up by the surrounding space remains the same. So this also has a 64% volume packing fraction. But we can do better than that, actually. And this is where the trick comes in, because I'm going to show you how to most efficiently pack these baubles. And it's so simple. All it requires you doing is pouring the small ones into the box with the big ones. And then giving them a bit of a shake. And you'll see that the volume taken up by the larger baubles hasn't changed very much. But now there are smaller baubles sitting in between the larger baubles. And that's the trick. The smaller baubles are filling up the spaces, what's called interstitial spaces between these large baubles. And they're increasing the volume fraction of this packing. The mixture of the two has created a packing that actually is much better, much more efficient than just the one type of sphere alone. If we chose the right mixture of large spheres and small spheres and maybe even smaller spheres, we can get packings that are better even than the 74% crystalline packing, the face-centered cubic packing. This idea has actually been known for millennia, and it's one that the Romans made a lot of use of in creating very strong concrete. Because you see, concrete is just a mixture of particles of different sizes with some glue poured on top. So if I just poured some glue in here and let it set, I'd have a sort of concrete here. Not a very strong one, but a very Christmassy one. More packing you can get of particles compared to glue, the stronger your material is, because the particles themselves are much stronger than the glue is. And in this way, by using this same phenomenon, the phenomenon that mixtures of particles create better packings than just particles of a single size. The Romans were able to create very strong concrete that held up their structures so that we can even see them today. And you, now, now you know, you can create a very efficient vorval packing. Yeah. I can play them as an instrument. <laughs>